Over the years, I've tested and used just about every construction management platform you can name, from Builder Trend and Procore to Co-Construct, Monday.com, and ClickUp. They each have their strengths, depending on what kind of construction work you're doing. But earlier this year, I gave House Pro a real shot, mainly because I'd been hearing more interior designers and small renovation teams talk about it, and I figured it was time to see how it holds up for a general contractor like me. Now, if you're expecting a full-blown construction project management tool in the same league as Procore, you might want to check your expectations at the door. House Pro isn't that, but it is an interesting hybrid, part CRM, part marketing tool, part lightweight project management platform, with some unique features you don't typically see bundled into one app. Getting started with House Pro was straightforward. Setup took me maybe half an hour and the walkthrough was smooth. I had my business profile up, contacts imported, and I was building estimates that same day. The interface is clean and fairly intuitive. I didn't need to train anyone on my team and most folks figured it out on their own just by clicking around. And I'll say this, House Pro has a great feel for people who aren't necessarily software pros. If you're more hands-on than tech-savvy, you'll probably appreciate the pop-up tips and embedded how-tos. The 3D floor planner was one of the first things that caught my attention. I've used high-end architectural tools before, and while House Pro's planner isn't a replacement for CAD software, it's honestly pretty slick. I scanned a few rooms using their mobile app's LiDAR tool, and it created a floor plan in minutes. It's not going to help you lay out load-bearing walls or HVAC systems, but for interior layout, paint schemes, and general design planning, it's a great visual tool. My clients loved seeing furniture, colors, and materials come together in dollhouse and blueprint views. When it comes to features, House Pro gives you a bit of everything. Estimate templates, invoicing, expense tracking, scheduling, and even a client portal. You can manage basic project timelines with Gantt charts and assign tasks to both your team and clients. The platform also integrates with QuickBooks Online, which is a big plus if that's your accounting software of choice. That said, the integrations are pretty thin beyond that. I couldn't hook it into any true CRM, and while it does sync with Gmail and iCloud, that's about the extent of its flexibility on that front. Now let's talk pricing, because this is where things start to get a little tricky. House Pro starts at $85 a month for a single user, and each extra user will run you another $60. That might sound okay at first, especially compared to something like Builder Trend, which starts at $449 per month. But you quickly realize most of the tools you'll want, like scheduling, change orders, and daily logs, are locked behind their Pro plan, which is $199 a month. Want more lead generation and better directory placement? That's the ultimate plan at a hefty $499 per month. So while the starter plan looks affordable, it's really only useful if you need basic estimates, invoices, and that 3D planner. For real project oversight, you're jumping up to the pro plan at least. And speaking of lead generation, Howes touts this hard, and I get why. They built their name as a marketplace for homeowners to find pros. But in my experience, just signing up doesn't mean the leads will pour in. You have to put in serious effort, upload tons of tagged photos, optimize your profile, and engage actively. Even then, the quality of leads can be hit or miss. I've also heard from peers who struggled to cancel advertising packages or felt they got low ROI from paid leads. The mobile app was another pain point. In theory, it mirrors the browser version. In practice, it's glitchy. I had trouble editing invoices, messages would hang without sending and I often had to force close it just to get basic things working again. That's a shame, because having access in the field is critical for most contractors I know. I also have to mention security, or rather the lack of it. There's no two-factor authentication that I could find, and while you can log in using Google or Apple, there's not much else in the way of enterprise-level security settings. That's not a deal-breaker for everyone, but it's worth knowing, especially if you're managing sensitive client data. Customer support was responsive when I needed help. Live chat was quick, and the reps knew their stuff, but there was always a bit of a sales pitch baked in. One time I reached out just to ask about a bug, and the conversation turned into an upsell opportunity. That gets old fast. Still, House Pro does have a niche. If you're a small remodeling company, an interior designer, or a GC who also handles design and client-facing presentations, it could be a great tool. The mood boards, email marketing templates, and basic website builder are genuinely useful, especially for client engagement. 
The selections feature makes it easy for homeowners to pick finishes and fixtures without endless back and forth, and the ability to show clients a live snapshot of their project via the portal helps cut down on update calls. For larger GCs or teams that need serious collaboration tools, RFIs, submittals, and deep reporting, House Pro probably won't cut it. That's where platforms like Procore or Builder Trend still lead the pack. But if you're running a lean operation and want to dip your toes into project management with some added marketing chops, it's worth a trial. Just a heads up, to start that free trial, you do have to put in your payment info. And yes, technically you won't get charged if you cancel in time, but I've heard from others who had some trouble with that process. When you're deciding between House Pro, Builder Trend, and Procore, it really comes down to the kind of work you do and what your business needs most. House Pro is great for smaller contractors, interior designers, and remodelers who care a lot about presentation, client communication, and finding new leads. It's tied directly into the House platform, so if your business thrives on visual design and attracting homeowners, House Pro offers marketing tools, lead management, proposals, and even mood boards, all in one place. It's sleek and client-friendly, but when it comes to heavy-duty project management features like RFIs, change orders, or detailed job costing, it's not as deep as the other two. That's where Builder Trend really shines. It's designed for small to mid-sized construction companies who want better control over their job sites and teams. Builder Trend gives you solid tools for scheduling, budgeting, daily logs, client portals, and change management, and it works great on mobile. It's like the sweet spot between ease of use and power. If you're growing and need something that keeps everyone, from your crew to your clients, in sync, Builder Trend is a strong fit. Then there's Procore, which is kind of in its own league. It's built for bigger commercial contractors and companies that are managing complex, multi-phase jobs. Procore has everything, document management, RFIs, submittals, detailed cost tracking, compliance tools, you name it. But with all that power comes complexity and a steeper price tag. It's a fantastic tool, but probably overkill if you're running a small crew or focused on residential work. Bottom line, House Pro tries to be a lot of things, and for the right type of business, it can actually pull it off, but it's not a magic bullet. It's most useful if you're active in the housing ecosystem, and you're fine with a mix of lightweight project tools and client-facing features. If you expect deep field collaboration or full accounting controls, you'll probably need to look elsewhere.